Welcome to the public hearing for the State Road 500 US 441 design project. This design project follows State Road 500 US 441 beginning at Lake Ella Road and ending at Avenida Central at Griffin Avenue. It is located within the town of Lady Lake and ends at the villages. The project is approximately 4.2 miles in length. The purpose of this public hearing is to present the design plans that were completed in 2007 along with the recent updates and receive public input. The formal portion of this hearing includes the project presentation which will cover compliance with legal requirements associated with a public hearing, a project history, a description of the project design, and the next steps. Following the presentation, there will be a 10-minute break. During the break, you may request a speaker card or discuss the project with members of the project team. After the break, the public will then be invited to provide their comments regarding this project. A court reporter is recording this hearing and will prepare a public hearing transcript which will become part of the project's official records. Now, let's review the legal requirements associated with this public hearing. The Florida Department of Transportation, or FDOT, has complied with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act and related amendments. The hearing and project are being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns related to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting either Jennifer Smith, Title VI Coordinator for District 5, or Jacqueline Paramore, who is the statewide Title VI Coordinator for FDOT. Both can be reached as shown here. In addition, Title VI complaint cards are available tonight at the sign-in table, so you may fill those out while you are here and leave them at the sign-in table or in the comments box. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. This hearing is being held to afford persons the opportunity to express their views relative to the State Road 500 US 441 design plans update in accordance with these Florida statutes and federal legislation. This public hearing was advertised by using several techniques that included emails to elected leaders and government partners, letters mailed to property owners within 300 feet of the project right-of-way, advertisements in the Lake Sentinel and Florida Administrative Register, notices posted on FDOT websites, hand-delivered notices to gathering spots along the project corridor, and a news release emailed to local media outlets. Now let's review the project history. Before a roadway project is built, it generally goes through a series of steps, which are Project Development and Environment, or pd and study, when the improvement is defined and potential impacts and related mitigation are identified. Design when construction documents are prepared, right-of-way acquisition, and construction. The pd and study for the State Road 500 US 441 project was completed in 2005. The study's recommendations include six travel lanes, accommodations for pedestrians and bicyclists, an at-grade intersection with County Road 25 and a re-evaluation of potential noise impacts. Design followed the pd and study and started in 2005. The original design was completed in 2007 and then put on the shelf due to lack of construction funding. Design updates started in 2017 and are estimated to be completed in 2019. 
right-of-way acquisition was completed in 2010 based on the 2007 design plans. Therefore, no additional right-of-way is needed in order to build this project. Construction will begin in early spring 2020, now that construction funds have become available. Now let's focus on the design plans, including the updates for this segment of State Road 500, US 441. The 2007 design project included typical sections, an at-grade intersection with County Road 25, changes to access management, noise evaluations, and maintenance of traffic plan during construction. The State Road 500 U.S. 441 corridor has been divided into three segments, each with a different typical section. A typical section shows the roadway components and other features that typically would be found within the right-of-way limits. From Hermosa Street to Avenida Central, a six-lane urban typical section will be used. Other roadway elements include a 22-foot raised median with 5-foot sidewalks and 4-foot bicycle lanes. For this area, the 2018 typical section has two changes. The bicycle lanes will be 7 feet wide and each travel lane will be 11 feet wide. Everything else remains the same. From Lakeview Street to Hermosa Street, the middle of the project corridor, a six-lane urban typical section will be used. Other roadway elements include a 16-foot raised median and 6-foot sidewalks. Bicyclists will use the outside travel lanes. The 2018 typical section is the same as the one in 2007, so there are no changes. The 2007 typical section from Lake Ella Road to Lakeview Street is a six-lane suburban typical section. Other roadway elements include a 30-foot raised median, 5-foot sidewalks, and 6-foot bicycle lanes. The 2018 typical section has two refinements. The bicycle lanes will be slightly wider at 6.5 feet and each inside shoulder will be 6.5 feet wide. Everything else remains the same. Today, State Road 500 US 441 goes over County Road 25. In response to public comment received during the PDND study, including a resolution passed by the Lady Lake Town Council, these two bridges will be removed and replaced with an at-grade intersection. Note the former location of the State Road 500 U.S. 441 bridges over County Road 25. East of State Road 500 U.S. 441, the relocated County Road 25 will allow for right and left turns onto State Road 500 U.S. 441. There also will be a traffic signal at this intersection. The existing County Road 25 will end as a cul-de-sac. County Road 25 west of State Road 500 US 441 will end as a cul-de-sac just before State Road 500 US 441. This intersection layout is the same as the one presented in 2007. The 2007 design plans reflect changes in access management. Access management is the careful planning of the location, design, and operation of driveways, median openings, interchanges, and street connections. The intent is to separate conflict points by providing a reasonable distance between driveways and between median openings. With the introduction of a median, the Access Management Classification becomes Access Class 5 Restrictive, the same as in the 2007 design plans. Note the spacing criteria that will be used. Here are examples of the directional and full median openings that will be included in the design plans. Only minor changes were made from the 2007 plans, which include extending proposed turn lane lengths. 
During the design plan's update, the study team re-evaluated the project's potential noise impacts, including the intersection at County Road 25. The results indicate that noise abatement measures are needed near the Water Oak community. Before design plans are completed, a meeting will be held with the Water Oak community to receive input about noise abatement options. As part of the 2007 design plans, a maintenance of traffic plan was prepared and will be included as part of the design plans update. The goal of this plan is to minimize travel impacts during construction. This plan includes minimal lane closures, maintain two lanes of traffic in each direction, maintain business access, and signage will be visible. Recently, construction funds have become available to widen State Road 500 US 441 to six travel lanes. However, it has been over 10 years since the design plans were completed. These plans are being updated before construction can begin. The 2018 design updates account for new developments that are either approved or under construction, accommodate bus service along this corridor, and comply with updated regulations and design guidelines. Since the 2007 design plans were completed, commercial development has occurred north of County Road 25. Other development activity has occurred or is underway south of County Road 25, and roadway improvements to State Road 500 US 441 were constructed south of this project. The design plans have been updated with the addition of turn lanes and the completion of sidewalk connections. In 2007, Lake County did not have bus service in this area. Now, Route 1A serves this corridor, beginning in Leesburg and ending in the villages. The study team has worked closely with Lake County Transit to ensure that the State Road 500 US 441 design plans accommodate existing and future bus stops, all of which will be ADA compliant. The 2018 design plans have been updated to reflect current regulations and policies. To comply with the FDOT design manual, standard plans, and specifications, the current plans were revised to address bike lane shoulder widths, design speed, context classification, and vertical alignment. There also have been changes to environmental regulations and policies, including the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service sand skink surveys and statewide environmental resource permitting. The updated plans now reflect these changes. As a result, sand skink surveys were completed as the design plans were being updated. Now let's review the next steps. The design for this project is estimated to be completed in summer 2019 with construction estimated to begin the following year. No additional right-of-way is needed for this design update. For more information about this project, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is designed to keep you informed about ongoing and future projects. When you visit this site, you will be able to view the current project schedule details, project contact information, and download project files such as this presentation. On the main page from the pull-down menu labeled City, select Lady Lake and then click on the search box. When the new page opens, click the link labeled Design. This new page lists all the design projects in Lady Lake, including the State Road 500 US 441 design project. Click on 238395-5, the project number. These instructions also are included in the project handout you received as you signed in. FDOT values your input. There are several ways you may share your comments with the project team. 
You may verbally state your comments during the public testimony period, which will follow this presentation. You may fill out a comment form tonight and drop it in the comments box. You also may take a comment form with you and mail it or email it to Sarah Van Gundy as noted on the form. Also, you may dictate your comments to the court reporter who was available before the project presentation and also will be available to receive your statements during and after the public testimony period. As you visit the Central Florida Roads website, you may submit comments by using the Ask a Question button. All comments postmarked or emailed by May 29, 2018 will become part of the official public hearing record for this project. After the presentation, if you want to make a verbal public statement regarding the design or effects of the State Road 500 US 441 Design Plans Update, you will have the opportunity to do so. After this presentation, there will be a 10-minute break before we hear public testimony. If you would like to speak during the public testimony period, you will need to complete a speaker card. Speaker cards are available at the sign-in table. Once you have a speaker card, fill it out and return it to Laura Turner. During the public testimony period, we will listen to your verbal comments. As each speaker is called to the podium, you will be asked to state your name and address for the public record before you begin sharing your comments. If you have any questions or would like more information about this project, you may contact Sarah Van Gundy the FDOT project manager, or Brian Fuller, the consultant project manager. Both may be reached either by mail, email, or telephone. Thank you for taking the time to attend this public hearing. We appreciate your interest and participation in this important project.